Okay, um, I'm just curious if you have, if you have a crush on her or you just uh, simply admire her. Well, um, you know what? Uh, I I really admire her a, a lot. Um, crushes, um, I'm I, I find uh, you know finding a crush on someone you really have to get to know them. You know, I'm not I'm not totally superficial. You know, I, I'm a model, but um, I I've seen you know from from what I've seen of her videos, she seems very sincere, very warm. You know, but. Uh, I, I more admire her. She's just a wonderful, a wonderful woman, and uh, she deserves all the credit. And just you know, God bless you, Venus Ra. Um, you know what's coming for you. You deserve it all. So congratulations. Okay. Uh, do you think if she answered differently during the final question and answer, uh, will she place uh, higher? Well, um, you know what? I like how she answered that question, and. Um, if the world, if the world understood, you know, um, just what it's like to really have a sincere and honest life, you know, with your family and having that support, you know, a lot of, uh, I, I find a lot of people are influenced by today's, you know, media culture and it's very loose, footloose in a sense, you know, you, you kind of, uh, you make mistakes early in life and you learn from them rather than having, you listen to your parents and, and follow their rules and obey. and. Um, I think her question, if people were to open their eyes a little bit more, it's a, it's a life learning question, answer, sorry. Her answer is, I think we could all take something from her answer because it means more than just words. It means something deeper. Like she, she has lived a solid life of foundation with her family, you know. Um, and if she answered it differently, you know, maybe it could have created some drama and well, who knows what that, you know, where it could have gone with that. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I liked her, her answer. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was a good answer. I also heard that you are an environmentalist. Yeah. May we hear your take regarding uh, climate change? Well, climate change, you know, the fact that humans are just, uh, by nature, we all have this kind of void, you know. Um, we're always looking to expand. We're always looking to better our lives with technology and um, with our brains, you know, putting them together and just making things bigger because we always think, seem to think bigger is better. And through that, you know, there's so much pollution obviously um, I, I'm I'm all about um, advancement you know um, and Asia is known for its its brains and its mind power and um, and um, I, I would say with the global warming and climate change if we all did our part still if people recycled properly if we if we didn't abuse it so much if we still you know we still pursued greatness as humanity does by nature that would be wonderful, but I, I would say that we should all do our part a little bit more and, and really pitch in. Get your recycling bins out, you know, you know uh, throw your trash away where it's supposed to go. And um, let's just, as a world, let's show that we care about our earth and I'm sure the government will follow with a, a stronger suit after we put in our part first. Uh, you love to sing Tagalog song. Who taught you about the language? Well, um, my, my very close friend, Michael Devantes, um, he, you know, inspired me to uh, to sing Tagalog songs because he introduced me to the language and because he knows I like to sing so um, he's like you should sing these you know um, you should try it out so I gave it a shot and through his you know um, guidance and um, and then through friends from other Filipino friends I'd run it by them Yashika she's here with me today um, um, she helped me form my words better and I just kind of you know got the hang of it eventually and it's a, it's a fun, it's a very, very fun thing that I like to do, just sing in another language in Tagalog. I like it, yeah. Do you go to gym? Oh yeah, you know, um, exercise is a, a part of life. And not, you don't have to take it to the extreme. Not everybody has to be muscle mania and the girls don't have to be totally fit because curves are cool and, and guys, you know, guy, and girls don't always like super cut guys, you know. I think, um, it's a lifestyle, you know. Fitness is incorporated with your diet, and everyone should try to, to think a little bit about their bodies, and um, and you know you'll notice that you feel better, anyways, when you eat right, you know. So I just think I encourage like an overall kind of uh, a balanced um, insight on fitness and, and exercise. Don't go too serious, and if you do, don't do too fast. What is your favorite sport? Um, I, I actually played um, American football for a long time, and. Uh, I was really committed to that sport. I loved that sport with uh, my, uh, my flesh and blood. I gave um, so much commitment to that sport. I was uh, a running back. I was a receiver. Um, 
I, I'm not bragging, but I, I was a, a pretty good asset to my scene, my team. I had a very driven um, state of mind, and uh, football is one of my favorite sports. It is my favorite sport, and I'll, alongside other sports, I did rowing too. Um, I rowed in a boat at my boarding school at one point and uh, did crew rowing, and that was pretty neat too. That was a different experience. Uh, what part of your body needs improvement? Oh, oh, getting you're getting dirty. You're getting you're, you're getting to the nitty gritty.